Hey everybody, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Dustin Strong, this is Strong on Health, and this is our Ask Me Anything Hour. I'm holding on to a bunch of fruit here because one of the questions that we have been asked are what are the foods that you should be getting every day on the daily? And I thought I would show you exactly what we actually do here at Strong on Health. And around 10 o'clock we bring out this fruit tray for people. And we've got blueberries, we've got cherries, raspberries, blackberries, kiwi, strawberry. Now this is an actual really nice display of what we have today. We don't always have this, but getting a little bit of some type of fruit every day is an excellent way to start your day in a whole food version. And I always make sure that every day I either get either a blueberry or a strawberry or a raspberry, something that's gonna give me that vitamin C and those antioxidants in a really good way. So these, this is the time for you guys to ask these questions, and this is where we're answering these questions now. So this is Ask Me Anything. If you guys have any questions about what I'm talking about while I'm doing it, go ahead and type it in, and somebody will flag me down and let me know. Uh, if you have a question and you're watching this and it's not live, you can email us at info at Strong and Health, or you can type it into the questions below, and we'll do our best to answer it. In fact, that reminds me, somebody asked me about colloidal silver. Could you grab one of the colloidal silver bottles that we use? And I will show you the kind that I personally use when it comes to colloidal silver for a mouthwash. Okay, so we have three questions. Number one, uh, we had some people go to an event and they were given a multivitamin and the question was, is this a good one? Should I take this? And that's the question we get a lot. Now, I'll tell you first of all what I like about this vitamin. In fact, uh, it is going to be giving you certain things that you may or may not be getting in your standard American diet. So for that reason, I understand why they created this with nine essential nutrients. But I look at the nine essential nutrients and I want to know why aren't we getting these from our foods and I want to make sure that we're finding ways to get them into our foods. And I do want to make a caution out there. In fact, uh, we had somebody who was very excited and like this is, ooh, that looks so cool. And it does look cool. Um, and that's cool and exciting, but that doesn't mean that you should actually put it in your body just because it looks cool. You want to put things in your body because you need them and they're going to make you feel good and happy. So here are the things that it's going to give you. Vitamin D, yes, we have a lot of people with low vitamin D. However, sunlight is going to be my number one choice for that because you're not just getting vitamin D from the sunlight, you're getting a whole host of other things. Now a little bit every day is going to be a great idea. 15 to 20 minutes twice a day is not going to be something that I would be concerned about with overexposure, but you do want to get out of the sun before you get anywhere close to getting a burn, of course. Um, other things that are going to give you vitamin D are going to be mushrooms, they're going to give you a great source of vitamin D, and things like cod liver oil are going to give you vitamin D as well. So keep an eye on that, but uh, this gives you a good range, uh, about 2,000 international units, so I think that that's probably somewhere in a good pocket, although I do think there's better ways. Omega-3s they're giving you, yes, a lot of people aren't getting good healthy fats. Now we want to talk about ways to get healthy fats. Now going back to the other question about what we eat every day are raw nuts and seeds. I talk all the time about walnuts of course because they're a great source of your omega-3s and a whole bunch of other things. In fact, if you were to eat walnuts instead of taking this, you would get the omega-3s, you get the folate, you get the iron, you get the vitamin E, a whole food vitamin E, which means all of the tocopherols and tocotrienols you would get magnesium and boron. So most of this would be satisfied just by eating some walnuts, but also you can get them from other things like pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are one of my other favorites, absolutely. Uh, Thursdays are my day to eat pumpkin seeds. They're gonna give you a whole host of amino acids. They're gonna give you zinc. They're going to give you magnesium. They're gonna give you most of these, plus other ones that I don't think people are getting necessarily enough of. I don't see zinc on here. And many, many, many times when I'm talking to people, I'm finding that they're just not getting enough zinc in their diet. And the more you're exposed to things like viruses, the more your body needs zinc. But you're, you need zinc for a, a whole, whole ton of things in your body. So this is helpful in filling in some of the gaps, but this is why we like whole foods. Whole foods are gonna give you all these plus a few other things. The ones that you wanna focus on are vitamin B12. Now vitamin B12 is something that you do need to uh, usually get from a meat source or nutritional yeast, that can be a difficult one, and that one is not gonna be present in walnuts, so it is neat that they're addressing that, but again, to get it from foods is gonna be so much more important. Uh, and vitamin D from the sun. The other one that's in here is actually K2, which is interesting. When you get the D, you do want K2 with it, and believe it or not, my favorite source of K2 is actually butter, and that's why one of the other things I do every day is I do put Bulletproof coffee and I put butter in my coffee because that's the K2 that I'm getting every day. 
So that way I'm getting a little bit of everything over the course of the day. So if you start with the fruit, you get a little bit of butter in there and you get tons of raw nuts and seeds, you're covering most of your micronutrient needs. You're getting your protein, you're getting your fiber, which is incredibly low in most Americans, and you're getting a good healthy fat which your body definitely needs in abundance, okay? The other things that I would say if I was gonna choose some dailies would be eggs. Uh, eggs are a great source of so many proteins and nutrients, and in fact, the fat-soluble nutrients, vitamins A, D, E, and K, are gonna be in the yolk. So you wanna get a good healthy yolk, and avocado. Avocado is gonna give you all kinds of fiber, it's gonna give you potassium. Potassium is a major component that is missing from this one as well, that you're gonna get better from foods. And magnesium, again, is another one you're gonna get from avocados. So back to potassium, the other food that I try to get in fairly regularly, and this is represented also in the blue zones. The blue zones are areas where people live the longest, they have the lowest rates of obesity, lowest rates of heart disease, lowest rates of cancer, that's gonna be beans. Beans are gonna give you a great source of fiber, a great source of potassium, and a great source of magnesium. Now, these are the major micronutrients that tend to be missing from our American diet. And so when we're going around with Healthy This Way Initiative and finding all these, new, these uh, restaurants and we're identifying different things from the menus, that's what we're focusing on. What are these foods that are gonna deliver us these micronutrients that are missing? Which of these menu items are gonna give us magnesium? Which are gonna give us potassium? Which are gonna give us fiber? These are major things that we have to have every day and they just don't seem to be represented in most of the things that we're eating, so we wanna find those and include them on a daily. So beans, nuts, avocado, some fruit, a little bit of butter, eggs occasionally, you're covering a lot of the things that I would try to get in almost daily. Now, what we didn't talk about are vegetables. You need a lot of green vegetables, of course. Even if you're getting a little bit, a little bit of broccoli is gonna give you a micronutrient called chromium. Chromium tends to be really needed for the utilization of insulin. You get, it's gonna help with insulin resistance because your body needs that. It's called the glucose tolerance factor. Broccoli is a great source of that. So I do try to get a little bit of broccoli in there almost every other day as well. And of course, as many green leafy vegetables and variety. You wanna get variety. I know that it was a long answer, but somebody asked me, what are the foods we have to have in our diet? And these are the reasons. So even if you're rotating through these different things over the course of a week, you're gonna give yourself a good variety for those. And finally, we had a question about Primal Kitchen. Oh, actually, did you bring the, oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, so for the person who's asking about it, there's a company called Nature's Right, and they do a great job of uh, doing a colloidal silver with peppermint. And so that's one of the ones that I tend to keep around here. I'm not saying I would sell it for people or, you know, I'm not like promoting them. But to answer your question, it's the one that I use, so they're worth investigating and looking into for yourself. Okay, Primal Kitchen. Uh, we had a question about their dressings, and so I did go in and I looked at the ingredients in their dressings, and I really like them. I actually really liked Primal Kitchen and a lot of what they have, they're standing for, the things that they're talking about, their way of approaching holistic health. They talk about getting sunlight and rest and all of these things, and it isn't just about nutrition, and that really embodies the spirit of holistic health, and I love what they had to say. So when I wasn't surprised when I looked at the ingredients in their dressings, their salad dressings, it were things like nutritional yeast, which we're gonna get our vitamin B12 from if we're not getting it from a, a meat source. It had organic ingredients, it had avocado oil. So really good ingredients in the Primal Kitchen dressing. So if somebody's gonna ask me if that's okay with me, definitely. It's probably gonna be the dressing that I'm gonna use going forward is if I find it to be something that tastes good because I really, really found it to be impressive. So great work, Primal Kitchen people. Thank you for providing such an amazing product. Do we have a question coming through? We do. Any options for dairy-free? Dairy-free meaning daily or for dressings? Is this on the dressing question? Do we know, what's that? Butter. Oh, butter, okay, thank you, yes. Okay, so sometimes people get concerned about butter because they're worried about dairy, and they're worried mostly about the lactose, which would be the milk sugar that could be in there, or they're worried about the protein that could be in there. It could be the casein protein. So for those people, the first thing I would suggest is check out ghee. Ghee is clarified butter. That means it's only the fat of it. So that way you're removing any worry about the lactose being in there, any worry about the casein being in there, and you still get a great fat content. Um, avocado oil is a really good option, and so is coconut oil for healthy fat. But for K2, um, okay, so here's the thing. You need K1 to be able to make K2, and you're gonna be able to make K2 if you're getting a lot of your green leafy vegetables. So that's the way you're gonna make it yourself, but to get a direct source of K2, 
I just use butter as an easy one. So I don't, on the top of my head, honestly, have a vegetarian or dairy-free version to be able to get that other than possibly ghee would be the best option for that. Hope that satisfies your question. Any other questions that we have? Great. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope that answered all your questions today. And anytime you have any product and you want to know whether or not I would take it or, or why or what questions we're looking for, what foods um, I would be eating on the daily or not, please just keep those questions coming in to info at Strong and Health. Type them in here. And uh, keep watching and share this video with your friends. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.